which means the plows aren't really able to keep up with it. So safe travels for all of you heading out on the road today. Paula Roy managed to fishtail her way here <laughs> from West Row, <laughs> even with brand new snow tires, you were saying. It Anna. was very slippery. Very slippery. Ottawa at Home Magazine Food Editor. You also have a great blog. We're talking at Constantly Cooking. Uh, so lots of things on the go. And so you're going to help some of us with the basic cooking, especially as we're getting ready for New Year's, and kind of some great hors d'oeuvres, some appetizers you can have laid out. Absolutely. I think people get carried away trying to think they need 50 different appetizers. There's great ways to make it really simple and a lot of good ideas that you can do ahead of time. So on party day, you can go for a manicure or have a nap oh. or do whatever you need to do. So the first one that I've brought to show you is a recipe that I've been asked for more times than I can even remember and it's a spicy shrimp dish. Now you can do it in a bigger casserole dish for a crowd, put it nice and piping hot on the table with some baguette and little wedges of lemon or if you want to do a fancy plated appetizer for a dinner party, you can do it in little dishes which is what I've done here and they're just really tasty, kind of a Cajun theme to them and I'm pretty sure when the camera stop rolling the crew's going to tuck into that one really All fast. All right, so how, what, what's the base that you've that you've the done for this? The shrimp are marinated in olive oil, soy sauce, honey, and then a variety of spices including cumin and chili pepper and so on. If you don't want to mix up your own spice mixes, you can actually buy packaged Cajun spice mix, which okay. makes it super super simple and you just marinate them ahead of time, throw them in the oven for 10 minutes and they're ready to go. That's it. That's it. Okay, I do like the little added things cuz people are likely going to need a way to eat it. That's right. And they're if you serve them nice and hot, the bread soaks up the juices and kind cools them off. Very nice. Very excited about this next little trick that we're about to do. So these are wonton crisps and they're great dippers for any kind of a dip. What I like about them is they're pretty sturdy. They're not floppy and it takes a little bit to break them. So a thick dip like a thick guacamole or even an antipasto, they can hold up and they don't get soggy, which is nice. All right, how did these come to be? Well, if you order in Chinese food, a lot of times they serve uh, fried wontons as sometimes in a little bow tie shape. It's just a side order you can get and they're nice dipped in plum sauce. And I was thinking, gee, there must be a way to make them not fried and also not so salty. And so I came up with this idea of cutting them into triangles. You can see the two sizes of wrappers you can get. They're either called egg roll wrappers or wonton wraps. The wonton the same, ones are small. It's the same thing. It's just a basic flour and water dough. They're really simple. So cut them in triangles because it looks prettier than squares and you take a baking sheet, grease it with a little bit of canola oil, lay the triangles out, then flip them over so both sides are coated in oil, five minutes in the oven and they turn into these beautiful little things. Now I don't put any seasoning on mine because I really want people to taste the dip, not the vehicle, but you can put a little salt, you could put garlic powder, you could put cinnamon and sugar if you wanted to do sweet wonton so, dippers. A little oil, a little olive oil. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Like little brush it on, five minutes, and you get these. Uh-huh. That is awesome. Yeah. So they're really, really fun. You could also make teeny tiny ones and put them on top of soup instead of a crouton. So you have a pretty little garnish. You could do little strips and toss them on top of a pasta dish for some crunch. Mm -hmm. They're really nice in salad. I did some with oregano and basil and little bits again and use them as a crunch in a salad. This is awesome. Now, you did bring some dips, so, so these, and I like the colors. Let's pop the color. We're still on the Christmas mm -hmm. theme here, kind of, with the red and the green. This is a dip of sour cream, goat cheese, and Parmesan cheese. That's the base. And then you can put pretty much anything you want on top. I chose a sun-dried tomato pesto and a traditional basil pesto. And again, you can buy those in the grocery store. You don't have to make them yourself. So really, really, really simple. And it's also a kind of dip that can sit out for a while and not start and be fun. to turn nasty. So Really fun little tips. I love this one in terms of making your own chips and kind of cutting down on some of the extras that you might not want uh, and the shrimp is awesome too. We're going to get to the second segment too. We got a lot of little, a little fancier. I'm, I don't, I'm trying not to be intimidated by those ones. I can handle these. Uh, make ahead one. super easy. <laughs> okay, we'll get back with uh, Paula Roy in just a little bit, but first we want to head over to Melissa Lamb, who's standing by with uh, Sarah Zeha.